Alrighty. Tanks and Trucks 24 7. I'm a good mate Davo here. How you going, boys? And you would have seen, well, you would have been on the channel before with the Hebeo speed run ages ago. But anyway, a lot of guys on Instagram, I've posted a pic of a radial seven cylinder. Seven cylinder. Seven cylinder. Seven Everyone's saying, what's that for? Is it for a tank? Is it for a bike? Is it for a car? No, it's not. It's for a Corsair that Davo here has been building. What, what model is it? What's the. It's a Hangar 9. Corsair, 41... Something or other. SU, 2 uh, metre something wingspan. Yeah, 2.17 metre wingspan. Beautiful plane, and uh, I myself haven't got into planes yet, but I think I wouldn't mind. It's just a lot of restrictions, but uh, just a quick video I wanted to show you guys. We've got a lot of you guys are asking, and this little champ over here has been building it. And uh, today, or tonight, is the first night they have actually started it, and I thought, what better opportunity to actually show you guys quickly how it runs, how it sounds, sounds sick. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, it's a bit dark at the moment, so just bear with me about the uh, lighting. But oh, whatever. Check out this bad boy. So that's the size of it, you can see. I think, yeah, the wingspan's 2.1 metres, but uh, yeah. Alright, Davo, what are we doing? Alright, so we're going to try to start this thing. So we just started quickly to make sure there was um, just, I think there was something wrong with the ignition. Not really wrong, but we just got to get the the timing lights here, a little green LED on top. It's obviously a glow, it's a seven cylinder glow, uh, glow plugs. So when it's flashing or red, I think it's getting ignition or the, the glows are lighting up. When that um, LED goes green, it means that it's got enough compression, enough heat to stay ignited. Okay. That's only the second time we started it, and there's a running procedure. What is it, David? Uh, you're going to give it a little bit about 70% throttle on and off, not flat stick it all the way. You don't want to run the motor too hot, too quick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So what? What? So that's a seven-cylinder radial engine, as you can see. Seven cc. I've got a feeling it puts out about four and a half horsepower, maybe, maybe more. I don't know. It's it's, six, it's a really nice quality. It's a it's called a Evolution uh, radial engine U27. 0.77, beautiful piece of kit, and this kit uh, we got another blade as well. You got the four, the three star, or the sorry, the tri blade, uh, carbon prop, and you got this one here, uh, the wooden one, and obviously you need a prop to run it in as well. But uh, this is a, that was the second time starting it, but it's just a beautiful, uh, it's exactly like the real thing. Beautiful, isn't it? Check out that bad boy. Really nice. Yeah, automatic retracts on it, so once it's in the air, wheels will fold in under the wings, even the tail wind will fold into the tail. Yeah. Still needs a bit of work, all the decals, the the cowl needs to be put on, the cockpit's yeah. got to be done. If you have a look inside the cockpit at the moment, you can just see some loose wiring there. Sorry about the light boys, but... Uh... There's some loose wiring in the cockpit that's going to be all tidied up with the switches in there. And this isn't foam, it's obviously old school style with it's got the fabric or the skin and then it's uh, obviously balsa wood construction. But really nice, no foam here. I just love that motor. That 
it's like actually the real thing, like prototypical. I'm not too sure what the original course there had, how many cylinder, but it just looks apart. This stuff ain't cheap, but uh, sure, shit sounds good. Look at that. Isn't it? Not even warm, like lukewarm to touch, Dave. Obviously, it's going to be getting nice. Exhaust is going to be the heat on it. Yeah, look at this exhaust. So each one of the, each one of the seven cylinders obviously has got its exhaust that runs into this main what, manifold, I guess you could call it. Yeah, exhaust ring, and uh, it all exits down the bottom here from that single exit. Sounds pretty cool. Well, sounds pretty cool, but it looks pretty cool, and it's not too loud. I was actually pretty surprised how quiet it is. Pretty damn sweet. It's got the little. So I'm not too sure. Well, I'm not the most uh, knowledgeable about a radio, but it's. Look at these. Put that back. Oh no, he broke it. We don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that's just a that's just a lift up for the um, tappets. Tappets, yeah. So let's put it back in, lift that up over. Yeah, yeah, you can do it off camera. That's all it is. It's funny how they just uh, just a compression fit, eh? Mm. That's all it is. So just, that's just a tappet. So exhaust and inlet valve. Um, that's basically it. But these motors were, well, that's what you saw back in the uh, World War II days. Even earlier. It's fantastic, that seven cylinder. I think they make a nine cylinder version, yeah, don't they? The nine cylinder doesn't fit on this plane. They're a slightly bigger plane, even though this one's decent size. Definitely decent size. I think this is a one to five scale, and then ones are there for a one to four scale. Oofed. Beautiful spinner. Check out that. The prop is magnificent. No spinner on it yet. Needs a little nose, but wrong thread that we got, so we need a new one. Well, now at least it started. Do you reckon start it one more time? Yeah, why not? Let's go. I'll spin it for you. So sorry, like I said, sorry about the light, boys, but uh, I was wanted to show you this. A lot of guys who were, were interested about it. We need that old school yellow on the outside, so you know where. You f <laughs> Where the prop is. Alrighty. Alrighty. Sounds really cool. Obviously, it's running rear chain. It's tight as a you know what, so I'm not going to get peak performance out of it straight away. But uh, yeah, that's it. Just a quick video. Come here, my little munchkin. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. You're going to be flying it. Oh, I'm not going to fly it, mate. <laughs> mate. I'm not crashing this. It'll look worse than now that Damo takes it off for the first time. <laughs> oh, boys. Don't even bother picking it up. No, leave it there. Just take the motor. <laughs> See you guys. Have a good one.